second on the floor. Council members, please take your seats. At this time, please place all electronic devices to vibrate. All electronic devices to vibrate. Will all non-council employees please leave the main floor of the chambers? Thank you. Madam. Good afternoon and welcome to the recess stated meeting of June 13th, 2019. I am Majority Leader Lori Cumbo. Would everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Adams. Present. Epri Samuel. Present. Ayala. Present. Barron. Present. Borelli. Brannon. Cabrera. Here. Chin. Here. Cohen. Here. Constantinides. Present. Carnegie. Aki. Deutsch. Here. Diaz. Drum. Here. Espinal. Here. Eugene. Present. Gibson. Here. Jonai. Grudenchik. Holden. Here. Kalos. Here. King. Present. Ku. Present. Kozlowitz. Here. Lanceman. Lander. Levin. Here. Levine. Here. Lewis. Here. Mizell. Here. Menchaca. Presente. Miller. Moya, Perkins, Presente, Powers, Here. Reynoso, Here. Richards, Present, Rivera, Present, Rodriguez, Rose, Here, Rosenthal, Here, Salamanca, Torres, Traeger, Ulrich, Fallone, Van Bramer, here, Jaeger, here, Matteo, Combo, present, Speaker Johnson. We have a quorum. Supplemental messages and papers from the mayor. None. Supplemental communication from city, county, and borough offices. None. Supplemental petitions and communications. None. Supplemental land use call-ups. None. Thank you. We will now have communication from Speaker Corey Johnson. Uh, good afternoon. Good to see you, Madam Majority Leader. I want to thank everyone for being here today. I hope all of the dads, grandfathers, uncles, and father figures had a very happy Father's Day. And I want to thank you all uh, for coming in today on what has been and will continue to be a busy week here at the City Council. We're here today to vote on two legislative resolutions that will help our first responders. But unfortunately, I have to begin by sadly marking another tragedy in the New York City Police Department. Last week, police officer Mike Caddy took his own life outside of a police precinct on Staten Island. He was 29 years old. Mm. It was the third NYPD suicide in less than 10 days. We've lost Deputy Chief Stephen Stilks and Detective Joseph Calabrese as well. This is a tragedy. All three are tragedies for the department and for our city. It is a mental health crisis and we need to ensure that the women and men of the NYPD get the help that they need. So to Officer Caddy, his family, and the entire NYPD, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Let us please rise and take a moment of silence for Officer Mike Caddy, Deputy Chief Stephen Silks, and Detective Joseph Calabrese.
Thank you. I want to dive into today's very brief stated agenda. The Council will vote on two legislative resolutions, both sponsored by our State and Federal Legislation Committee Chair, uh, Council Member Andy Cohen. These legislative resolutions are very important. Every stated meeting, I recognize 9-11 first responders who lost their lives due to illnesses they contracted down near the World Trade Center on that horribly fateful day. By passing these bills to help our police and firefighters, the Council is demonstrating its commitment to emergency first responders who devote their lives to protecting all New Yorkers. The first is pre-considered SLR with accompanying Senate and Assembly bills, and it will seek to provide parity for members of the FDNY to other fire departments across the state of New York by providing a five-year look-back window for retirees who are diagnosed with lymphatic, digestive, hematological, urinary, neurological, breast, reproductive, or prostate cancer, or melanoma, with the same presumption of evidence for disability benefits. Right now, uh, the members of the FDNY do not receive this five-year look back, which all other fire departments give across the state of New York. And so this is us really making sure that folks that uh, may get cancer by serving our city when they retire, that they get that look back so they get the benefits that they deserve. This is the right thing to do. The second is pre-considered SLR with accompanying Senate and Assembly bills, and it will allow certain members of the New York City Police Pension Fund to receive a membership date in the New York City Police Pension Fund attributable to service in the titles of the Police Cadet Program or the Police Cadet Program Number 2 in the New York City Police Department Cadet Program. Members of the New York City Cadet Corps are eligible to join the New York City Employee Retirement System, NICERS. But cadets that served prior to 2012 were unfairly denied the opportunity to join NICERS when they served in the Cadet Corps. As a result, these cadets not only lost out on the opportunity to receive pension credits, but those who went on to become police officers after July 1st, 2009, were denied the opportunity to become Tier 2 uh, members of the police pension system, and instead they were placed in either Tier 3 or Tier 3R of that system, both which provide reduced benefits from Tier 2. This legislation, this home rule, seeks to correct this inequity. I'm really glad we're doing this today. These cadets, 390 of them approximately, almost all of them are uh, police officers, or some of them now are detectives or lieutenants or sergeants of color. Many of them are women, and they have had to live with uh, stress and uh, instability and feeling like they were not being treated as other folks because of uh, potentially a misclassification that happened. And this is really us fixing this wrong, making sure that they are given the same level of pension benefits as other people who did the same exact work. And so I'm grateful that today we are taking this uh, action before the legislative session concludes in Albany with these two home rule messages that will be sent up to the state capitol tonight so that tomorrow members of the state legislature can pass these assembly and senate bills and ensure that firefighters and police officers are treated with dignity and respect in our city and that we are righting some wrongs that had existed in the past. So I'm grateful that we're doing that today and I look forward with proceeding with today's votes. That concludes our agenda for today's brief stated meeting and I wanna thank you, Madam Majority Leader, and I turn it back to you. Thank you, Speaker Corey Johnson. We will now move into discussion of general orders. Seeing none. Supplemental report of special committees. None. Supplemental reports of standing committees. Report of the Committee on State and Federal Legislation, pre-considered SLR 13, parity for firefighters. Coupled to general orders. Pre-considered SLR 14, pension extension for police officers. Coupled to general orders, and at this time, I'll ask for a roll call vote on the two items on today's general order calendar. Myself. King. Yes. Torres. Yes. Adams. I vote aye. Ampri Samuel. Aye. Ayala. Aye. Barron. I vote yes on SLR 13 and I abstain on SLR 14. Oh, in that case. Borelli. 
Aye. Brennan. Aye. Cabrera. Are we signing? Yes. Chin. Aye. Cohen. Aye. Constantinidis. Aye. Cornegy. I vote aye, and my gift is I will not explain my vote. Deutsch. Uh, permission to explain my votes. Permission granted. <laughs> uh, I'll be speaking for um, Councilmember Cornegy as well. <laughs> so um, I'm proud to vote today in favor of both of these um, uh, bills, which rights uh, wrongs that were done to some of the first responders, uh, the FDNY and the NYPD are the two most important law enforcement agencies in our city. Uh, cadets deserve their fair share of the rightful pensions, and 9-11 responders who until now were not eligible for certain pension benefits because of diseases incurred at Ground Zero deserve access uh, to those funds. Thank you, uh, Chair Cohen, uh, for, your uh, for your sponsorship on these extremely important bills, and I also want to thank our speaker, Corey Johnson, for um, making sure, ensuring that these two home rules are brought here to the council. Thank you very much. Diaz. Yes. Drum. Yes. Espinal. Aye. Eugene. I would I. Gibson. With my warmest gratitude to our speaker and Jason Goldman and Chair Andy Cohen, I am proud to vote on today's agenda and certainly want to thank my colleagues for their support in making sure we continue to provide the needed support to our first responders in both the FDNY and the NYPD. I'm very proud that we're voting on this and I look forward to the governor signing these measures into state law after the legislature votes on them tomorrow. So I proudly vote aye on all. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Jason. And thank you, Chair Cohen. Jonai. Aye. Gordenchik. Holden. Aye. Kalos. Aye. Ku. Aye. Kozlowitz. Happily vote aye. Lansman. Lander. Levin. Aye. Levine. Aye on all. Lewis. Aye on all. And Chaka. Aye. Miller. I vote aye. Moya. Aye. Perkins. Aye on all. Powers. With a great appreciation for all those who serve the city, I vote aye. Thanks. Reynoso. I vote aye. Richards. Aye. Rivera. Aye. Rodriguez. Before he votes, I want to wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Adonis Rodriguez. Yay. Rose. Aye. Rosenthal. Uh, with Happy birthday, Council Member Rodriguez, and I vote aye. Salamanca. Traeger. Aye. Ulrich. Valone. Van Bramer. Aye. Jaeger. Aye. Matteo. Combo. I vote aye. Speaker Johnson. With deep appreciation for the men and women of the NYPD and the FDNY, I'm really glad we're having this hearing today to make this important fix. I vote aye. Thank you. All items on today's general order calendar are adopted by a vote of 46 in the affirmative, zero negative, and zero abstentions. With the exception of SLR 14, which was adopted by a vote of 45 in the affirmative, zero negative, and one abstention. Supplemental introduction and reading of bills. All bills have been referred to committees as indicated on today's agenda. Thank you. We will now move into general discussion. We have Council Member Inez Barron. Uh, thank you, Madam Majority Leader. If we lived in a perfect society, we would have a utopia, and we might not even have a need for this body to talk about legislation to look at how we can bring equity to our people who are living here. But we don't live in a perfect society, which means that we have got to take those actions that correct injustices. When Richard Carranzo came before this body the first time, the question that I asked him, as you can well imagine, was how was he going to address the systemic 
racism that exists in the education system. And he gave a response which talked about having uh, training about implicit bias and talking about having a culturally sensitive curriculum and talked about programs and initiatives that would address the inequities that we face in our educational system. And those are the kind of inequities that we see when we look back to the founding of this country and look at the three-fifths clause and we look at the battle at CFE campaign for fiscal equity to make sure that we brought the money to those black and brown communities that had not gotten it. And for us to not address the challenge of correcting the systemic injustices that our communities have faced, I think does a disservice to us. It exists, and as long as we continue to call it other than what it is and to do the dog whistles that say, oh, people who are being hired are not qualified, we know what that meant when we heard it at first. I think that it does an injustice and does not allow us the opportunity to make corrections in what we see exists in all of our schools in the educational system, all of our black and brown schools. So calling on my colleagues who have not yet signed on to the BLAC letter, to sign on to the letter so that we can let this chancellor know we support his efforts to bring justice and equity to black and brown children in this city. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Barron. Seeing no others, we will now at this time we will call on Speaker Corey Johnson to close today's meeting. The stated meeting of June 18th, 2019 stands in recess until tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you.